start since they represent the village people and they have the resources and the powers to raise the necessary resources from the rural areas the panchayats it is felt are the competent authorities to deal with the problem of rural industrialization equally strongly it has been argued by others that cooperatives are the right answer to the question as to which should be the authority that should deal with rural industrialization i may also mention that there is a third school which believes that the import of private capital and private skill into the work of rural industrial development is the real answer to the problem which we face in the matter of rural industrialization here again some authoritative determination of the policy has become necessary because in the absence of such a policy ad hoc decisions are taken which sometimes cancel each other and therefore the rapid progress which we hope and wish for in rural industrialization becomes impossible full stop then again there is the further question of protection that may be necessary for rural industries in view of the lack of the internal economy from which rural industries would suffer whatever may be the answer to the first two questions professor malkani has already referred to this question and various suggestions have been put forward but all these suggestions require some detailed consideration as there are a large number of difficulties in implementing any one of these suggestions demarcation of markets and the imposition of taxes in order to see that goods from the urban centers do not reach the rural centers in unfairly competitive conditions are some of the suggestions that have been made one great advantage of a vast country is the large number of markets that are available for the goods that are produced in the country however if these markets are artificially restricted and goods are not allowed to move from one one center to another i am afraid more problems would be raised than solved if this prosecution is sought to be given in this manner yet protection has to be given to the rural industries if these rural industries are to develop therefore serious and contempt competent thinking is necessary in this connection and again time is running fast therefore it is desirable that we should have some authority which could examine the various issues involved and determine the policy with regard to this matter also mr vice chairman i wish the matter had not come up for discussion in this house in the form in which it has come because we will be discussing it appears the same subject more or less pc peace meal in connection with the other two bills as well what was necessary for the government in this connection was to provide for a general discussion on the report of the finance commission the kind of thing that we have on such reports and after hearing the views of the members were they should have formulated a bill even if they had formulated the bill earlier the bill should have been preceded by a discussion on the report it would then have given 
us an opportunity of dealing with this rather important subject in our public finance and indeed in our national life but now we are asked to treat this matter piecemeal and deal with the bill as it comes separately i say sir this would not seem very fair it is true that we have had two other reports of the finance commission and that we have had certain opportunities of discussing the issues raised by the finance commission on previous occasions but that should not have precluded a thorough discussion of the third report more especially after the experience of the two five year plans and generally also after the experience of the states in the matter of public finance and as regards relations between the states and the center all i can say is that the government does not understand the magnitude of the problem or the urgency or the seriousness of the issues involved it is possibly because they think that all the state governments are under their control and that the state governments would to the line whatever is laid down from here suppose sir today a number of states had been outside the control of the same party which controls the central government problems would have become acute because conflicts between the state governments controlled by certain other parties and those controlled by the congress party which controls the central government would have arisen sharply calling for a thorough discussion and mutual consultation in a different way once they can get past whatever they like and also once it is passed the states will more or less accept without any protest the dispensation of the center full stop over